lot of cases, meat that's combined with fish doesn't really go. But this is an exception to the rule. Salty, smoky flavour of pancetta, along with a really nice mild fish like salmon, goes so well together. These are my salmon and pancetta skewers, and I'm going to serve it with a very simple quinoa salad. Now I've got about 600 grams of salmon here, and then we'll cut that again. And then I'm going to cut it into nice, even cubes. You don't want it to be too small, but not too big either, so just like that. I've also taken the skin off one side and I've pin boned it, so no bones at all. Now for some onion. I've just cut this onion in half and then I'm going to cut it in four because what I'm looking for are little leaves. You just separate them quite easily. This is going to go in between the pancetta and the salmon, so just separate them. And you can imagine this on the grill, caramelised onion, with the pancetta that's going to be really salty and then the fish, just a perfect balance of flavours. Now I'm going to add just a little hint of garlic, so half a clove of garlic that I'm going to mince onto my fish and we'll scrape that off, perfect. A pinch of salt and so it all comes together, a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. And now, using your hands, just mix all of that together and just be delicate with the fish because you don't want to crush it or bruise it too much. And now we can start assembling our skewers. Pancetta, it's like the Italian bacon if you like. It's got so much flavour. It's been cured in the salt and spices. I love to use it, especially when it's been cut this thin because what happens is when it goes onto the heat, it just melts away and just leaves that really lovely flavour. So just separate a few pieces of the pancetta or use your knife just to cut them in half. This can be very rough because what we're wanting to do is get a piece of the salmon and then wrap it in the pancetta. These are bamboo skewers. Just allow them to soak in some water for about half an hour so they don't splinter. You could also use metal skewers. They work perfectly too. I'm going to repeat the process. So another piece of pancetta and the salmon, wrapping it around. And the fat here is fantastic because it's going to keep everything moist. And then again, pierce that so it sticks nicely. Another piece of onion and pancetta. And by all means, you can mix up the ingredients that you add to this. I sometimes use tomatoes, so the caramelised tomatoes go nicely with the pancetta too, or classic capsicum works nicely. And some onion, and then I think we can get away with one more piece of fish and pancetta. And there you have it, first skewer done. So I'm gonna continue the process, and then I'm gonna grill them. My pan's really hot and I'm just threading the last piece of salmon onto the skewer so we're ready to start cooking. They can go straight on, oh that's a good sound. Nice hot grill for this and just give them a little bit of space between them so they cook nice and evenly. And it's going to take around one minute on each side. While that's happening, we can get onto a really fast salad to go with it. I'm going to use quinoa as the base of my salad and fennel. I love the crunchiness of the fennel and fennel also goes really nicely with the pancetta and the salmon. All of these fronds, keep that for later and I'll just take the first layer of the fennel away and then I'm just going to finely shave or slice some of this fennel, perfect, into the quinoa that I've pre-cooked. I'll give that a really quick mix with my hands. Now before I continue with this salad, let's have a look. I think this side's gonna be ready. Oh yes, look at that. Nice and golden brown, perfectly seared. Now back to the salad. Some nuts for this, just some almonds. You could use some pine nuts, pistachios work really nicely. Just a rough chop, I'm gonna keep them raw. Another crunchy element to this dish, always very important when you are making your recipes at home. And then into the quinoa. Some fresh herbs, three or four sprigs of parsley, heaps of flavour. Just finely chop it though. Dill would work nicely with this too. 
and some chives, fantastic. So nice soft herbs and into the quinoa. And then we're just gonna give this another turn, just making sure that we tend to each side of this. Oh, I wish you could smell this, it smells fantastic, great. Now to finish off this salad, we need to make a really tasty vinaigrette. So about a tablespoon of seeded mustard, some citrus, so some lemon and some orange. You can use some of the zest if you like. I'm just going to use the juice. So half of this orange and half of the lemon will be plenty for my portion. And then in with the mustard. Use a whisk to emulsify this. And then some good quality extra virgin olive oil. Just slowly drizzle in the oil. It'll start to emulsify and thicken. Perfect. And now I'm just going to have a quick taste. Oh, I love that combination of the lemon and orange. Both of them together work so nicely. Now I'm going to add half of the dressing to the salad and just have a look to see that it's not too much. You don't want the salad to be drenched in the vinaigrette because it will be overpowering. Just a little bit more. And if you've got any leftover, don't throw it away. Just put it in a jar, put it in the fridge and it'll be ready for your lunch tomorrow. You can use it for up to three or four days. Okay, salad is done. I'll grab a plate and I'm just going to put a nice mound of this crunchy quinoa salad. You could also use couscous for this, works exceptionally well. A little bit more. Perfect. And then the hero of this, our gorgeous skewers. You can see that the onion is caramelised. The fish, I can see that it's cooked. I'm going to place it on top there. These are quite generous skewers, so one skewer per person is plenty. I'm going to add a little drizzle of olive oil to finish it off. And these beautiful fronds that not only look fantastic, but taste really great for this. You know, my little brother doesn't like fish that much, but this is a dish he enjoys. I think because the salmon is wrapped in delicious pancetta, they are really a match made in heaven, especially with a simple quinoa salad like that. Perfect.